Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Thursday, October 8th, 2020. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you are part of my life as well. This video is getting filmed a little bit later than normal. I went with my wife this morning to a follow-up doctor's appointment for an issue that she has, and uh, so uh, nothing huge, but we do be in prayer, please, for her as she's uh, wrestling with a condition that uh, now we actually have some answers about. So praise God. That's wonderful. Um, but uh, just be in prayer for her. We appreciate that. Today um, is Alan Herring's birthday. Happy birthday, Al. Um, we are so happy that you're part of our fellowship, and uh, I'm happy to have a professional artist uh, in our, our midst, a professional illustrator, cartoonist, um, it's what I love, one of the things I love to do, and, and so uh, I've learned a lot from Al and have been very, uh, very pleased to have him in our midst. Uh, happy birthday. I hope that you're surrounded by uh, the love of family and friends. You're an awesome guy, and I'm glad you're, you're with us here at New Beginnings. Today also is Rich and Amber McGill's birthday, no, anniversary. <laughs> Rich and Amber, happy anniversary, you guys. Praise God. So glad that you guys are uh, a couple and uh, are doing so well. Uh, we love you so much. I saw Amber actually walk in on the street yesterday and uh, wasn't able to catch her attention with my wave as I was driving by. But uh, uh, we love you guys and we're so glad you and your family are part of our fellowship. Have a great anniversary today. May the Lord strengthen and deepen your love for one another in this, uh, this year to come. Tonight at 6.30, there's 180 Youth here at uh, Arlington Reformed Church. Uh, keep the youth group in prayer. They're doing great, but pray for the Lord to speak and to move and to, to be part of their every uh, meeting. Um, that's my prayer, and uh, I'm delighted to have them uh, meeting here at Arlington Reformed at 6.30 tonight, uh, 180 Youth. So, yeah, on uh, Sunday, we talked about uh, Matthew chapter 25, and, uh, and specifically this story of the sheep and the goats. And when the, uh, Jesus is talking about at the end of time, when he returns, he will sit as judge and he'll have a different response to one group of people whom he calls the sheep than to the other group of people whom he calls the goats. And to the sheep, uh, the main uh, most important thing that he tells the sheep is an invitation to come to come, come to him. He invites the sheep to come to him. He invites them to come into uh, the kingdom that's prepared for them since the foundation of the world. They are blessed, he says, by his father. And I think that the blessing that the sheep receive is the invitation to enter the kingdom. And, and that invitation to come, to be on the inside, to, to be embraced by Jesus, to be part of his kingdom, is the greatest thing that Christians receive. Our reward is even not so much eternal life, although it is eternal life. Our reward is, is not so much the, the glories of of heaven or the new heavens and the new earth, although it is that indeed. But what makes those things glorious, what makes eternal life worth living is the presence of Jesus and the relationship that we have with him throughout eternity. Um, one of the, uh, I shouldn't probably say this, but I told you that my family uh, has finished watching The Good Place. And uh, maybe this is a spoiler. So if you're watching The Good Place or if you haven't watched The Good Place, you might want to just sort of forget what I'm about to say. Um, but one of the things that they find out when, they, when, those, when the characters enter eternity is that uh, they find eternity to be uh, ultimately boring. Um, a pleasant eternity they ultimately find to be boring. It imagines they imagine an, an eternity in which you can get anything that you want, you can have any experience that you want, you can uh, you can you know uh, do any crazy thing you want. But eventually, trying out all the crazy things and trying out all the, the you know, eating all the foods you want to eat and, and having all the experiences you want to have, eventually you run out of imagination and you run out of ideas, and eventually it just becomes boring and rote in the good place. Um, and that's clearly a sub-Christian understanding 
of what eternity is like. Because the truth is, the Christian teaching about, about a positive eternity is that Jesus is there. That, it, that God the Father is there. And God the Father and God the Son are infinitely wonderful. Infinitely wonderful. Eternally wonderful. Right? That's, that's the beauty of the afterlife for Christians, uh, is that God is there and he's infinitely beautiful and infinitely wonderful. Look at the creation that he's made. Right? Look at the, the beauty and the infinite variety of the of the earth, and, and not just the earth, but the cosmos, right? The galaxies and the stars. Uh, infinite beauty. How many times have you walked across a, a field in a, a starry night and looked up at the sky and thought, I could never get tired of seeing this? It's always fresh. It's always new. That's the kind of beauty. That's the kind of glory that uh, that just drips off of God's fingers, right? God is the, the source of life and joy and creativity. Uh, of course, an afterlife that doesn't include God, of course, an afterlife that doesn't include Jesus would eventually become boring. Eventually, an eternity of just piddling around with my own random, stupid human ideas, of course, that would eventually become stultifying. Uh, but an eternity with God? An eternity in the presence of Jesus, that's never going to be boring. And so you want an invitation to come and be in Jesus' presence. That's the glory of eternal life. That's the glory of what awaits Christians. Um, and we don't have to imagine some uh, odd you know, view of the afterlife involving harps or clouds or, or milkshakes. In order to, in order to uh, have something amazing to look forward to, a glory and a story that never ends. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for everybody who's participating in this devotional uh, this morning, Lord. I praise you for them, and I ask that you would just bless them in every way. May they know that they are loved by the King of Kings, Lord, and, and may they know that, uh, that that invitation to come and be with you is open to them, just like it's open to every man, woman, boy, and girl on this planet. And God, that is the hope that we have, that you are what makes heaven heaven. You are what makes eternity uh, joyful. You are the one uh, that is our ultimate reward. So God, I pray that we would look forward to that and, and, uh, and to look forward to you uh, in the future. Lord, I lift up to you Al Herring on his birthday. May he be blessed in every way. Uh, fill him with your limitless creativity. Uh, and I thank you for Rich and Amber McGill. Lord, I pray that you would bless them and encourage them. Amber also does fantastic artwork. And Rich is such a hard worker and a good man. God, I pray that you would bless them, bless their family, uh, bless them on their anniversary. May they be filled with love for one another and they know your love as well. I pray for tonight's youth group meeting, Lord, that you would fill this place and fill each heart, Lord, with your spirit so that they might uh, have open eyes and open ears and open hearts to receive what uh, you have to say to them through your word. Please bless Joel and all of our volunteers. May tonight be a blessing uh, in Jesus' name to all of, to them and to, and to the students, the kids who are there. Uh, God, protect them from all harm. Lord, we love them and we love you and we thank you for this day. Thank you for these folks. Thank you for New Beginnings Church, and we ask your, your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, New Beginnings, thank you for joining me for today's daily update and devotional video. Uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you again tomorrow.